Okay, so what do I need up here? Now, put your suture in your suture book. Okay, this is fast and furious. That's going to end up on the floor. And you need two towels if you're going to do this. Okay, okay. needs to be covered. Okay, now one thing that they do with this is they use lots and lots of sponges. Okay, you have how many in your pack? Five and how many? Or 20 in total. 20 total. And they use close to 20 to do one of these. Okay? Once you cut this uterus, it bleeds a lot. You cannot suck it fast enough. It's easier to mop it up. Okay, so which knife would I, you think I would want? Mountain knife. Okay? Okay? So pull, this, pull it back. It's just like a, re a retractor blade. Okay? So this is a timeout. Reminds us to do what? Timeout. Okay. So we're going to do a fan and steel for this one, mm -hmm. okay? This di this blade is dull, 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 dull. Oh, what do I want first? So Marking marker. pin. Okay. So that way you can make a smile. Okay. Even them so up, right? Lasting so I can make sure, and they'll, a lot of times you'll see them do that. Okay. Or they can take the knife handle and score the skin and score, score, score. It's just like oh, scratching sorry, the skin. No, okay. okay. And that way I'll make sure I get these back. So I don't have a whole bunch of skin on one side and none on the other. Okay. Now I'll take the plate. This plate is dull. Okay. Okay. Retractor? No. Why would you want 10 million retractors <laughs> up there? <laughs> okay. okay. So put them back and put them in order so you can find them easily, right? Okay. <coughs> this way is very popular. Okay. So don't put up so many retractors that it takes up your whole field. And you usually want a rolled towel for this because you're going to need the peons, all four peons. Okay. The pokers. Okay. However you want to do it, but most people use a rolled towel. This is for skin closure. Okay. Okay, however you want to do that, this, this is your <coughs> way to do it. Okay, but I use a roll towel. Okay, so knife, deep knife. Okay, so I'm going to do here. Remember, what am I scoring here? Curved mayo and forceps width. What did I tell you those just were for? And those are absence. Those aren't forceps width, are they? Okay. Okay. So when you pick them up, pick them up like this, and then you can pass them, right? You already have them in the right position. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, what am I cutting here? The fascia, right? The fascia that covers what? No, cut this way. Oh. <laughs> you got to cut the fashion, do the same thing that I did, okay, and make it smile at the end. Okay, there you go. Okay, throw them back at her. Okay, you're grabbing <laughs> this, Coker. Okay, so we, you said that this fascia goes over what? Another one? The rectus abdominis. Uh huh, rectus abdominis. Okay. So we got to take this off of this because we want. This is our strength. Mm -hmm. The muscle doesn't have any strength by itself. It's fascist with the strength. So I'm going to take this off. Okay. Got to do it separately because these are two different levels. So hold on to this and with the other hand there. Okay. Then I'm going to provide counter traction as I do this. Now they showed you doing scissors in your video. Either one, scissors or this, and they're going to take off the fascia off of the muscle. Okay. Then we're going to go down below, and what did I tell you the lower one's called? Take the blade that down there also. What structure sits right underneath this? The when we after we open the abdomen. The pelvis. Hmm? The pelvis? Yeah. The bladder? The bladder. bladder. Oh. So this is called the bladder flap. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to do the same thing, only this thing goes almost up to the umbilicus. There's not very much room here, so it's just a couple swipes. Okay? Take these off. Okay, now go to the side. Now we've got to finish opening the muscle, right? What did they open with the muscle in the video? The... Um, a Kelly, right? Mm. 
You can, can do blood better. dissection with this, but we have paper, correct? Yes. We have paper, okay? So we have to um, cut our paper, go down below. This is kind of a dance. We keep going back and forth, okay? And what did they do? What did they do when they did this? They pulled oh, the oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then all the <laughs> That was horrible. <laughs> You guys need to watch that video again, okay? Because now that you see it, take note of different things each time. Okay, watch it again, okay? Okay, nice. Okay, and the same thing they do again. Okay, but we have paper. Okay. Okay, go up above, right? Wouldn't that be more trauma for the patient by just ripping it? How no, actually it causes no? less because then it tears along its natural lines. Okay. The muscle fibers tear along its natural so lines. Now I'm going to Take it out. And what do we need now? The bladder blade. Bladder blade. Okay. Okay. So we've come out from our tape. Not <laughs> so good. We can't reuse tape. Should use some screws. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so bladder blade. Now we've got to take off the bladder from the uterus, right? Mm -hmm. So knife <coughs> and forceps. Would I want something to, with teeth to go through the bladder? No. So either Russian or Debakis. Ah. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to lift up here, I'm going to score it, and then I'm going to take a wet lap and push down. And I'm going to do blunt dissection to take off the bladder. Okay. okay. Now I'm ready to do open the uterus. Okay. So now I want something knife and something with teeth. Okay. And turn on the fan. Okay. And what scissors am I going to want next, do you think? No. They're special. They're only in this set. Why do you think they're in this set? Is that a one? Mm -hmm. Why do you think they're in here? No, they should just want the one. Correct. But what's special about this? They have this? a um, sharp tip. So they have a blunt through. tip so you don't injure the baby that's underneath. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if we take that, that's sharp enough that you could poke the baby. Okay? Okay? <laughs> okay, so the we're going to cut the uterus. Okay? We don't know. And this is when. <laughs> Remember, and then what else, if, if I do this and I, and you see a lot of fluid, I broke the amniotic sac. If the sac is not broken or it didn't break, like lots of women, will, the water will break and they've already lost the amniotic fluid. You can't let go of that, okay? The amniotic fluid would already be gone. But if it isn't, I'm going to take an alice or a forceps or something and break the sac, and that's when you're going to get all the fluid. Some of people will take this off because this sucks even faster, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, so now we take this out because we don't want to ding our baby as we pull them out, and it's bleeding a lot, so you're going to be having to pass these up. Slap, slap, slap. Okay, you're going to have a lot of these go very, very quickly. Okay, a lot of times I put a whole big and a stack up there, five up there, so then I can be passing them up, or if they do it, they can reach and get one themselves. Okay, so now here comes our baby. Okay, what are you going to have right up immediately? What do we want? Yes. Okay? We don't even get the baby all the way out before we suction and make sure that the venere is... What? What is... Why do we have to suction out the baby's nose and mouth? Because it's membrane. Don't go so close to your mouth. Sorry. There's a mucus plug in there. So and the fluid doesn't go down into the baby's lungs. Okay? The baby gets amniotic fluid down into the lungs. What happens to our baby? They can't breathe and they also get pneumonia. Pneumonia for little kids is deadly. Okay? They don't survive. Okay? So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to take our baby out and you could be pushing here, right? Oh, that's right. Where's the blanket? Okay, so the baby blanket's in your thing, right? Okay. Oh, look, it got split of cord. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Fell off. Is <laughs> this to the nurse? Yes. Did you just reach over her field to take that? Oh, yes. 
Okay, so make sure that she doesn't, you could have gone right over here and she wouldn't have reached over your field. Okay, so, peon. Now, cord blood. Okay, do you have the other one? Keep going. No, no, no. I need the umbilical clamp. There you go. Now, this is open in your set. Somebody's closed it. Once you close them, you can't open them. You can, but it's really difficult. Okay. Is there a special key? Yeah, there is a special key for it. Okay, so this goes across. Now, the doctor may elect to do that over on the uh, incubator area, baby, where they prep the baby. Okay? They may elect to do that, and they would have this already over there. If they don't, they will put it on here. Pee on. Another one. I am told that this is the more common way to do it now. Yep. That forearm. Okay. So, this is your specimen for cord blood. Okay. Okay. You could just take it from me. Okay. You don't need a bowl. It's not <laughs> dirty. Okay. So, no, don't take this off. Okay. Because why? Then they won't have any blood in it. We're sending it for blood gases, so it goes immediately. Okay, so give it. No. Now you can put it in the bowl and give it to your nurse. It's easier to pass <laughs> off that way, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the reason is you don't wait. You can take that with one hand, take it back there, and the other hand pass it to the nurse right off. Okay. Okay. So w they, you, you make sure that goes to the lab. The results come back before we're done here. Okay. So those go stats. And then. When I, once I come back, is there anything else that you need to know? No, somebody will come and you'd have a runner come and get that. Oh, okay. okay. You just have to pair it to go to the lab. That's okay. only your job. Okay. That's the extent of your job. Okay. So you have to label it. You have to do all that good stuff. Okay. So now we've got this and our baby's ready to go. Now, give yourself some room to take this. Okay. So this goes up on your chest. Okay. And then this folds down. Okay, so then the inside is sterile, right? Okay, and then that goes up on your chest. Now you have a large area to take the baby. Okay, you don't want to drop this baby, do you? <laughs> okay, so there's the baby. Then you go off. Okay, what are you going to be assessing the baby for? Yes, but what what kind of scoring system are you going to be using to check your baby? What's that called, you guys? I don't know, but 10 points is good. 10 points is good. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. What's that called? APGAR. Uh, remember? APGAR. So if you don't remember what APGAR is, you need to be checking. Look that up again. Okay? Look up your C-section. Okay? It looks like you were too Yes. I knew it was mine. Like you're going to have to do a lot more because you're going to be starting paying child support now. <laughs> okay, so the other way we can take the other way we can take um, blood gases is we can actually be taking a needle and drawing up the fluid. You saw them doing this, okay, and putting it in a cup. That's not the common way to do it anymore. They're also the other thing they're also doing a lot now is stem cells. And they'll come with the kit. That's everything in that kit that you need to do to take stem, stem cells. Okay? So that's being done, you might probably see one or two a month. Okay? I don't know how often it's being done. But it's by 